friends! So I'm here with my Hobonichi. Um, I kind of wanted to do a little Hobonichi January flip through because if you remember, I'm using my Hobonichi Techo Planner as a art journal, like a daily art journal. Um, so this is the cover. It's a little fat and chunky because I have, I've realized since I'm using this, I'm using the monthly as my planner, like where I'm planning things, but I don't, I need pages for a few like planner things, like expenses and orders and stuff like that. So I made a little booklet to slip inside this cover here. And so since the Kobanishi is getting really big, it doesn't fit right, but I'm thinking about transferring um, all this stuff into a, a traveler's notebook. So I'm looking, I'm looking into a Foxy Fix, but it's so hard to order from Foxy Fix right now. So I'm, you know, I keep kind of stalking the site and stuff like that. But that's what I'm thinking about doing eventually because it's going to be so stuffed that um, can't fit anything into it. So I just kind of wanted to show you a January flip through of the pages that I've done. Um, I don't know if I ever did a setup for this bit of this planner. I might have showed you it in my my planners I'm using 2017 video, but other than that, I don't think I did a setup. This is just post-it, post-its from the Tarta Dollar Spot. I have a little washi booklet here from, um, this is the Inspire line from Project Life. And then I have some Reset Girl stickers. This is a Planner Society stickers. I just kind of cut them in half and put them on a piece of paper. More Reset Girl box stickers. Those are little samples. And then in the back, I use this as a bookmark, so I have that here. And then I have some Planner Society stickers, and then some Daily Like stickers. Um, these stickers fit really well in the boxes of these the Reset Girl stickers. Reset Girl. These are the Daily Like ones. They fit really well. Hold on, I have the Planner Society ones. They fit really well in the little boxes, and this is where I do most of my planning. But I wanted to do a flip through of my art journal. So this is January. Um, yeah, I guess we can just get right in to January. This is that like turning the page to a new year. This is that goals sort of page. It's kind of an introduction to my art journal. And then this is January. And then that's the first. So most of my pages are spreads. So I use two spreads. I usually work on each page um, either like this. I, did, I think I did this the first. So this was blank and I just did the whole thing on the first. Or sometimes I would work on it the, first, the second and then journal the third or however I work. A lot of you, if you follow my personal Instagram and not create plan love, which is my planner Instagram, you will see all of these pictures. That's where I put all of my art journal stuff. You will see all of these art journal spreads because I think I've photographed all of them and they're all up there. This one's one of my favorites. So is this one. <laughs> And if you've been watching the videos of my channel, you would know that I did a um, process video of this. I also did a process video of this, too. A couple of them I did process videos for. I use a lot of magazine cutouts and I've been using a lot of this acrylic paint and stamping and all sorts of stuff. So the pages, the paper actually holds really well. As long as you don't put too much water, it holds. Okay, so this, I kind of, I watercolored it and then I put these rub-ons and I think I was supposed to journal in it and I just never got to it. So of course I skipped it. Um, so I can work on you know, if I didn't work on these days, work on the next one. Again, two days where I didn't do anything. Um, so I skip, I skip them. I'll probably go back and fill them in, but um, for now, 
I think, well, this is not the last one. Um, this is the last one. It seems like a cop-out, but um, I've, like, today is the first, so this is what I should be doing today um, as I'm filming this, but I'm, like, I have so many ideas in my head, and just, I'm just beginning to feel overwhelmed with all of them. Um, I write them down, but like, I want to start working on them, and you just can't work on like 10 different projects at once. You have to like pick and you have to like pick which ones, and it's just just for me like figuring out where to start, like which one to do first, is really really overwhelming because I have you know ideas for all of them, and if I get all the ideas down on paper, it's like I want to start working on that project, and so I have like 10,000 projects that I want to start working on, and it's ridiculous and sometimes I get so overwhelmed that I just kind of shut down and like don't want to work on anything and that's just really bad I still haven't figured out how to process that yet like to deal with that in like sort of a more productive sort of way but that's how I was feeling uh, yesterday and kind of did this not as fun as the rest of the pages and I think that's why these two spreads are sort of blank. I mean, this one not so much, but um, it's because I was just feeling really, really overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, so now we're in February and I will start filling out February. I just kind of wanted to show you a little flip through of my January pages. Um, so far, so good. I One, I really enjoy the size. I didn't think I would like this uh, A6 size. But I love it. Oh my goodness, do I love it. It's like, A6 is sort of kind of like a 4x6 almost. It's roughly a 4x6. Um, I absolutely love this size. It's just so nice and compact. It's small, so I don't have to spend so much time. I mean, a lot of, like if I'm doing transfers and stuff, I think there are a couple that are transfers in here. Um, yeah, I'm going to spend a lot of time on a page and like, waiting for the paint to dry and stuff like that, but um, it doesn't take very long to work on a page, and I love, love that. I love working in the smaller scale. Um, I love that I can just put this in my bag and take it with me to go, so like a lot of times I prep the background. That's what happened here. I had prepped this, and I was supposed to go in and do journaling and stuff, but it just never happened those two days. Um, but yeah, I can prep it, and then if I'm on the go, I can just journal. Um, I love that. I love it. It's. I like the paper. Um, my only thing with the paper is, is that when you use a lot of wet medium, it takes a while for things to dry, and I think that's just the, just a characteristic of the Tomo River paper. It just that's how it works. But like, it holds quite a bit. Like I'm telling you. I mean, you can see shadowing, but it holds. Like I'm using a lot of mediums on here. Um, it holds really, really well. So I can just imagine when I'm like halfway through this little book, it's gonna be like so fat. <laughs> anyway, so that is my little flip through of my January pages in my Hobonichi art journal. Um, if you haven't, I have a bunch of process videos on how I did a few of those spreads. Just go to my channel and like check them out. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.